So David Johnson has spoken and he said, nothing to see. Okay, let's have a listen to him. The recent allegations of foreign interference in media reports have amplified public concern around these issues and are a central component of my first report. They raise legitimate questions which deserve complete answers. Much of what has been reported has been based on limited and partial intelligence. That reporting has been made without the benefit of the full context provided by all relevant materials. Experienced intelligent professionals understand that individual pieces of intelligence must be viewed with considerable skepticism. It is extremely rare to draw conclusions, much less take action from a single intelligence report. Each piece of intelligence is a brushstroke to paint a broader picture. Only upon seeing the full picture, with the benefit of all relevant intelligence, can one conclude that much of the reported intelligence has been misconstrued in media reports, presumably because of this lack of context in these instances. In some cases, the materials I reviewed tell a very different story than what has been reported to date. Foreign interference is not usually embodied in discrete, one-off pieces of intelligence. It cannot be dealt with on a one-off, look-what-I-found basis. The limited leaked intelligence and subsequent reporting have led to misapprehensions relating to incidents that are alleged to have occurred in the 2019 and 2021 elections. Moreover, I have found no examples of ministers, the prime minister, or their offices knowingly or negligently failing to act on intelligence, advice, or recommendations on the issues I have investigated related to the 2019 and 2021 elections. However, I did find that there are significant and unacceptable gaps in the machinery of government. We will continue this work to complete my mandate by October of this year with a particular focus on providing recommendations to address the serious gaps identified in this report and improve Canada's capacity to detect, deter, and combat foreign interference. So thank you all for your time and attention this afternoon. So what do you think? Do you think he's to be trusted? Do you think everything is hunky-dory? He says there's a few things to look at. I think there's a lot of things to look at. Um, where do you go from here? Teflon Prime Minister goes and lives on for another whatever. <laughs> okay, so speechless. Just leave a comment.